Right, so here we are in Chapter 9, having reached Aunt Catherine. Of course, we heard in the introductory narration about a fortress. And the largest place here looks like this. Which I guess is the monastery. Here's the monastery gates. Alright. Cave of the Dead. Temple, that's good, to Joaquin. And a tavern. It's probably where we'll go first. Carrick Smithy and Arcana Archives 2. <laughs> wonder if that's really Lazarus's second shop. Maybe he's sharing a place with a smith named Carrick. Smuggler's Cave. I don't know if they mean that literally, or maybe that's the name of another tavern. I think we'll go here first. Wow. Of course, it's after dusk. I deserve to be leader. Of course, it looks awfully interesting. Exotic, I guess. I trust all this man. All right, here's a monk, obviously, outside of the monastery gates. You there! You must be the one that Balthazar is expecting. Except Lily doesn't know who this is. Any questions you have can be directed to Balthazar himself. Gather any of your friends. Balthazar comes. Spawn Melisan told me of. I've been expecting you. So, of course, he emerged from the monastery gates and he looks like a monk. But yeah, I think she's wondering how he knows who she is. I am Balthazar, head of the monastic order here in Am Catherine, and its ruler as well, although that is not an official position. Melisan preceded you and told me of your coming. It's certainly interesting that he claims to be the unofficial ruler of M. Catherine. But if he's coming out from, well, the monastery or this fortress, she might believe it. But this is also curious. <laughs> Monastic order, and he's not saying of what or for which deity, assuming it's religious. Because, of course, Lily's uh, trying to mount the evidence for the case against Melisande. And if she's allied with Balthazar, perhaps Balthazar's monastic order is in service to Ball. She would be surprised. He's not saying monastic order of what. All right. The unofficial ruler. Okay. Melisande has already left the village and did not say where she was going. She has left with me directions for you to reach these enclaves, she mentioned. Is this what you expected? All right, that's typical. She's not here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Lily expected to meet her here. I do not know where Melisande may have gone, nor do I care. As for you, Melisande has vouched for you. I'll tolerate your presence for now and give you what you need. Here are the maps to the enclaves Melisande mentioned. Neither of them are very far from here, as you can see. All right, I guess we're about to add them to our world map. Yeah. M. Catherine is available for your supplies and rest. Do not disturb my own activities and will not come to grief. Is that understood? Unofficial ruler or not, Lily does not want to be threatened. It is not a threat. It is a warning. My own fortress here is off limits to you. Everywhere else in Am Catherine you may enter. Good day and good luck, Lily Black. Alright. 
Yeah, head of the monastic order, but they don't say which. Let's see if we can see these areas that have been added. Oh, here we go. Sendai's Enclave and Abizagal's Lair. All right. Sure. How can I help? This is locked. Yeah. Okay. What? All right. I think we'll just make our way to the tavern. Unofficial ruler. Our right, desert rats. Wasn't expecting to see that. Please, please spare me. I beg you. All right, that's Asana Harad. Asking to be spared. Thieving wench! Begging won't save you now! We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please. My daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. All right, here's her father even admitting <laughs> his daughter's guilt. Okay. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? Calling him the mayor? All right. People are starving. Food is scarce. Asana needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Hush, father. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. Asana admitting her own guilt. Or the father. Saying that his daughter has done nothing wrong. I guess presumably talking to us. You are surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? I guess he was really talking to us. <laughs> yes, you! The townsfolk cower in terror. They let these mercenaries do whatever they please. But you, you are obviously powerful enough to stand up to these savages. This is tough. Supposedly, Omar Harad is the mayor. Here's his daughter, of course. I have to assume that these are mercenaries of Balthazar. But as, and this is a good display of how powerless the mayor is. He's probably been displaced, and he's only mayor in name. So even if she had an interest in helping, she can't imagine what she would get out of helping him. Meaning the real... Power in M. Catherine is probably Balthazar. I don't think she wants to get involved. My daughter is a compassionate woman, but young and impulsive. She foolishly stole money from these mercenaries to ease the suffering of the starving children of our town. All right. Nalia understands, I guess. Does she now deserve to die for her compassion? Surely you cannot condone her execution under these circumstances. <laughs> Lily's not going to claim to know the laws of the land. Man, this is tough. Yeah, I mean, of course, personally, she feels it might be a little harsh to uh, 
pay in blood for a theft, but... She doesn't want to upset the uh, relationship with Balthazar for what appears to be a powerless mayor. Only a name. Asking what he could do for her then. 